you search my inward parts, whatever it is that you see that is not exactly like you, I need you to, to extract the bad and to come on, help me in here, infuse the good. Because at the end of the day, I still want to get to heaven. And so if my, if my seat in heaven was contingent on what I do right now, how I treat you right now, God teach me how to treat my neighbor, teach me how to love my enemies, and how to embrace my friends. Teach me. Jesus. My God. Watch this. That's a good word here. Yes, it is. It's a four letter word. It's okay. Four letter word. Meek. Meek. That's why everybody got quiet. Keep your Bible open. Keep your mind right. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Did it on purpose. So y'all mind was what? What in the world is wrong with that? Meek. Meek. Greek word pros. Gives uh, the Greeks use this word when they would have dialogue, conversation, talking about the horse's obedience, the obedience of the horse. The idea that the horse is under. If you will, the divine ah, test the one that's on the horse. Horse does whatever it's told to do. There's a bit in the horse's mouth which tells the horse what direction to go. And some of us don't like bits because we still want to do what we want to do. Watch this, watch this, watch this. This word pros in the Greek, pros, P-R-A-U-S, pros in the Greek, uh, simply means to have a strong but tender, and I gotta get out of here, strong but tender and humble life. One who has a teachable spirit. Y'all see that? A meek, one who has a teachable spirit. A teachable spirit. A teachable spirit. One who's able to be taught. Okay, one who don't think they know everything, but can actually sit down at the table and learn something. Teachable. In modern, now modern English idiom, the word meek is hardly viewed as honorable. In this day and time, this word meek carries with it somewhat of a negative connotation. For the most part, it carries the idea of someone who's spineless. Yeah, jellyfish, subservient, and or submissive. Y'all hear what I just said? Ah, for who can ever stand up for what's right? Mm, but they are spineless. They're, they're spiritual, I'm in Bible, spiritual chameleon. Huh? And, and, and if it's brown outside, I can turn brown. If it's red in, I can turn red, and you won't know I was just brown. So I can be whatever you want me to be when I won't come on, help me. Huh? I don't take a stand. I just bleed. Conform. Are you in here? Those type of people, brothers and sisters, are dangerous. Oh, you need Bible. The book has a problem with lukewarm folk. Either you're going to be hot or you're going to be cold. Huh? But Jesus uh, can't deal with you when you look warm and the book says he'll spill you out of his mouth. Look at your neighbor and say, baby, take a stand somewhere. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I ain't saying nothing back there. So, the three angles. The three angles for the word meek. Three angles. Three angles for the word meek. Greek philosopher Aristotle 
chimes in on the very definition of this word meek and Aristotle had a tendency to define every virtue as the mean between two extremes. Are you in here? And so this word meekness would be described as a man between excessive anger and excessive angerlessness. Are you in here? Or the happy median between too much and too little anger. Lord have mercy. Proverbs 29 11, a fool expresses all his emotions. Who is Bible? But a wise person controls them. <laughs> are you in here? Come here, Solomon, what are you trying to say? Everything that enters into your head should not exit from your mind. Mm, what you talking about, Pastor? When Jesus comes in, what does he say? Huh? He in just a few weeks, we're going to talk about it. Blessed are the peacemakers. Come on, help me in here. Huh? And sometimes you have to be quiet and hold your own peace uh, for the peace of everybody that's around you. Uh, look at your things and things. Sometimes you need to know when to hold them, when to hold them, when to walk away, when to run. Uh, learn how to be quiet sometimes. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. It's right here in the book. It's right here in the book. It's right here in the book. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So this perspective deals with the timing of anger. The timing of anger. Uh, you have to be careful of selfish anger. Ooh, selfish anger. Me, myself, and I. Selfish anger. Second, meaning for this word meek suggests that it is the regular word for an animal which has been domesticated. Uh, this animal has been trained to obey the word of command. Mm, which has learned to answer the rain. It is the word for an animal which has learned to accept control. It's hard for some of us to relinquish control because we've always thought we were in control. God has a tailor-made uncontrollable situation with your name on it to let you know that you were never in control in the first place. So now you're flat, looking up, saying, Father, I stretch. Watch this, watch this, watch this. The third, third angle, third angle. This word Greek, where the, where the meek, but the Greeks gives us a term called hoopse locardia. Hoopso locardia. Simply means lofty heartedness lofty heartedness in other words what lies within this type of meekness is that true humility which banishes all pride preach boy the great Roman teacher oratory uh, Quintilian said of his student scholars, watch this, and I quote, they would no doubt be an excellent student if they were not already convinced of their own knowledge. <laughs> you gotta say, man, just look at amen and I'll understand. They can be excellent students if they learn how to sit down and learn something. Because you can't always bring everything to the table. Come on, help me in here. And so, and so, and so, no one can teach a man who knows everything. Look at your name and say, oh, he right right there. I know I'm right there. You got to say it. You, you, it's hard to tell a man where to go when every time you try to point him in the right direction, he done already been. 
Come on, help me in here. Huh? 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 They, they, they done been in every war. Come on, help me. Huh? Come on, talk back to me if you can. They, they've been in every branch of the army. They've been in huh? every denominational church. They know every book of the Bible. They know everything about everything. But they don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. They're void. They are empty in their minds. Well, Romans 12 and 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, and I'm almost out of here, to every man, oh yeah, good time, for every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think soberly, according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Yeah. This angle lets us all know that the person who exercises meekness is blessed. And they're blessed because they have enough humility to recognize their own ignorance. Teach, boy. Huh? Yes, sir. And not only their own ignorance, but their own weakness. Come on. Come on. And their own need. All of you. None of me. <laughs> so, text says, the meek shall inherit the earth. Now let's look, let's look, let's look briefly at the contract between the way the world thinks. The world says strength, power, ability, self-assurance, and aggressiveness will allow you to possess. The more you assert, uh, the more you express yourself, the more likely you are to succeed. But the Bible says only the meek. Now we are reminded that we are different from the world. This is what makes all of us unique. Uh, uh, this is why people can't understand, uh, if you will, how we can smile in the midst of sorrow. This is why folk can't understand uh, why I don't pass judgment. This is why folk don't understand uh, why I treat my enemies uh, the same way I treat my friends. It's because I'm trying to get to heaven. Self-controlled 